How you doing? My name is Neil Slater. I am 23 years old. I'm from Foster, Rhode Island, about 25 minutes or so from Appenog, where TAPS used to have their headquarters. Um, I just recently graduated from Franklin Pierce University. Um, I have a degree in mass communications, and I currently work for the University of, Ro University of Rhode Island. Um, I'm an environmental educator. Um, just to tell you a little bit about myself, I love music, I love guitar, I play guitar, um, I love all kinds of music, I love hip hop, I love heavy metal, I love reggae, um, I guess the biggest, if I were to say the best musical performance I've ever seen ever, it was probably Jimi Hendrix 1969 at Woodstock, probably the best song that he played in that set was Red House, very bluesy, um, I really really love music. Um, uh, I'm a big sports fan. I come from my stepdad played Major League Baseball. Um, I My brother's playing baseball right now at the University of Rhode Island. Um, I've always wanted to work in the sports field. Um, but as far as my paranormal experience goes, um, I we dabbled. We were pretty much amateurs. We were never really professional. We were never really um, helped, you know, went to people's houses and you know, did some investigating for them, but uh, we used to research some of the folklore around Ringe, it's where I went to school, um, and one of them was right on campus, it was a place called The Manor, and we would frequently um, make uh, time to go and do paranormal investigation there, just ghost hunting. Uh, we started out um, recording with our laptops, we didn't really have any handheld um, recorders or anything like that, and we would I was, in, I was a mass comm major, so we would take cameras and, uh, you know, we could rent them from um, the school and we would use those cameras and um, it was very amateur, it was amateur hour, but um, it got me really interested in, you know, my whole family, my whole background, um, a lot of my family was interested in the paranormal. My mom, um, my mother actually was an award, she, she wrote a, a poem about her paranormal experience as a child and won an award. Um, for it, which was which was really really cool, um, and uh, so you know I've always always been interested uh, in ghosts and things that are kind of you know of the macabre and um, I was a huge fan of Taps even before Ghost Hunters was on the air. Um, and I remember in middle school uh, talking about you know with my friends about ghosts and kind of going to the library during study hall and you know just typing in on a search engine ghosts in Rhode Island. And, you know, the, the Atlantic Porn Paranormal Society would come up and check out their website and before I knew it I was a freshman in college and watching the show on television so um, I'm very very familiar with uh, Jay and Grant and I have their book that they wrote. Um, I guess my the biggest reason I want to be on the show is because I am an amateur. I would love to learn from professionals. I'd love to learn all about the tools that we that they use um, how they use them, how to set up the tech stuff. Um, I would be a great lead investigator or co-investigator. I'd also be great in the tech department. I think just because I'm very interested in, you know, in, in all the equipment. Um, you know, I have some ideas of my own to kind of innovate, you know, innovations and in, um, equipment. And also, um, as an investigator, maybe as an elite, as a lead investigator or as a, uh, you know, a co-investigator, I have some innovations. I think might be um, really cool as far as you know some of the techniques that that are used so um, you know as of right now like I said I'm an amateur um, but I would really love to become a professional and uh, I believe that I make a great candidate because of that so thank you for listening to me and I hope to hear from you soon